global warming. Yeah. And uh, here, uh, Freddy, I thank you for your uh, for your note. And uh, Bella, I I like it the way you wrote this. And uh, of course, we know that you have had strange weather in uh, in Italy. And uh, you, Fred, writing from Nova Scotia and saying, how come the warming? Well, I have to tell you, they stick to this global warming very simple. They have nothing else to sell you. Now, you don't know by whom they are being influenced. And that means we have to take a look. You know, the salmon, all of a sudden, loads of salmon isn't coming back to Vancouver. Well, as I have said in previous tapes, I have spoken to all of you about this interwar, can we say intergalactic, of course there's no Darth Vader, but there's a Dark Vader here. Uh, we need to we need to look at what is taking place when somebody says global warming and uh, it has been here incredibly cold doesn't suit the fa the salmon not returning right it's been very cold here we have had a little bit of heat and great heat was uh, was dished out quickly and then it disappeared and it has been very very cool here cold for the time of the year so uh the ocean you don't warm up overnight you know like but then also there is another thing as we have seen giant squids dumping themselves near victoria in the ocean near the beaches when things, when a polar shift and a global change is coming into being, you are going to see animals, birds, uh, insects, all kinds of things leaving areas and going elsewhere. And if we are in a time of shifting and changing, then we see the gentle populations already stretching their wings as we have seen tons of seagulls leaving here one night it was like it was dark in the sky so many of these seagulls left and the next day i was looking if they all had come back but i didn't see them all coming back that little handful that was left behind is still here and it is unfair also from the mongers to go and kill all the Canada geese, kill all the swans, because we need to play and fly our airplanes. No? These were creation, creatures that were created by Creator, that we should as a people honor and respect. But these little salmon have packed up their tails and have gone, you will see very much so all kinds of changes, all kinds of weather changes and the disappearance of all kinds of things. And of course it is very sad because of the abuse and, and of course all the rotten antibiotics that when people go to bathrooms and the stuff ends up in our oceans, rivers and streams, which already have been proven the major cause of asthma and other Ill illnesses, respiratory problems. This is just my time to reach out to you. This is my time to say to you, and I know many of you don't care a darn, yet there are those who are so gracious and grateful. Think of your Creator more often. Think of more good things you can do and how harmonious you can live and how much sweetness you can offer to one another. And I know you don't care a darn about myself as a being. 
you just keep writing me and you want more and more and more and more and more. But it would be nice if you made sometimes, if everybody sent me a dollar, then we could buy computers and we could buy equipment and we could pay the little people that are here and the many volunteers buy them sometimes lunch. See, I didn't ask for me, but if everyone sent us, let's say, $2.50, we could keep this up and keep you in the know because you are now in the time of the Aetherian travelers. You are in time of the Aetherian wars that are there. They are being attacked by the dark forces. That's what's going on up on this planet. You need to listen and not just say we make the planet green. Get rid of all the garbage out of your cupboards that are poisonous and get rid of your poisonous, hateful thoughts. Learn to love and be compassionate. I am the Seushant and I am here only because Created wanted you to be empowered and to be in the now. So don't blink your eye in the now and be gone. Be in the know. Empower yourself each and every day more before you go mad. And whether whoever religion you follow, it's all made out and is based on fear. Not love, not compassion, not empowerment. It's all fear. So get rid of the fear and learn to love one another. Bye-bye.